An instinctive behavior is inherited. You're born with it. In contrast, a learned behavior is developed from experience. Although humans and some animals do inherit an instinct to learn, the content of their learning is determined by their experience. Instinctive behavior does not change. It stays the same even when circumstances change. Birds migrate in the winter months even when the weather stays warm. But learned behavior is more flexible. Humans don't hibernate in winter, and most humans don't change where they live seasonally. Instead, they have learned to dress warmly and heat their houses. Humans are very adaptable. Generally, we don't wait for evolution to change our responses to the environment. Instead, learned behavior enables us to respond quickly to changing circumstances. To learn from an experience, an organism must have a memory to store information to be used later. Memory helps an organism learn through trial and error. In trial and error learning, an organism tries to do a task again and again, sometimes making mistakes, but other times succeeding. Eventually the organism figures out what it did to succeed. A mouse will learn how to get through a maze to find food at the end by trying different routes again and again. The mouse eventually remembers which routes don't lead to food and which do. In recent years, more and more people have become worried about the growing lack of natural resources. There has also been an increasing awareness of the environmental damage caused by burning fossil fuels. This, for example, is now believed to result in a rise in the temperature of the earth, as the level of carbon dioxide in the air increases. These problems have forced society to look for different forms of energy. One of the most promising of these is the fuel cell. Fuel cells are an efficient, non-polluting power source. They produce no noise and have no moving parts. In the last few years, fuel cells have been put in hospitals and schools, and many auto companies are now designing prototype fuel cell-powered cars. Despite their modern, high-tech appearance, fuel cells have actually been known to science for more than 150 years. The history of the fuel cell can be traced back to the 19th century in the work of the British scientist, Sir William Robert Grove. His experiments in 1839 on electrolysis the use of electricity to split water into hydrogen and oxygen led to the first mention of a device that would later be called the fuel cell. Grove discovered that by putting the ends of two platinum electrodes into a container of sulfuric acid and the other ends into sealed containers of oxygen and hydrogen, electricity could be produced. In addition, he found that the only waste product from this was normal water. This meant that the production of electricity would not be harmful to the environment. While the concept of fuel cells has been known for over 150 years, the first practical fuel cells were developed for the NASA space program in the 1960s. The space program required an efficient, reliable and compact energy source for spacecrafts, and the fuel cell was a good fit. Today NASA continues to use fuel cells to power the space shuttle. Unfortunately, the main problem with developing fuel cells for cars and the home is the high cost of manufacturing the devices. On the other hand, recent technological improvements and a large investment in them by auto companies, NASA, and other organizations, have led to rapid falls in the manufacturing cost. It is now expected that fuel cells will have practical applications for producing power in our daily lives within the next few years.